Hi, this is Bucky with Transit and Level Clinic here to do a quick tutorial on converting raw data files from Spectre Precision Receivers to RINEX for the purpose of submitting online to Opus for processing. These files can be taken from any Spectre Precision Receiver, including but not limited to the SP60, SP80, Epic 25, Epic 35, or Epic 50. To do this, you will first need to download the free Spectre Precision RINEX converter software from our website www.transitandlevel.com. You can find this by searching for any Spectre brand GNSS receiver, dropping down to the support section at the bottom of the product page, and clicking on the downloads hyperlink. Also feel free to email us at sales at transitandlevel.com and we would be glad to share this with you via Dropbox or Google Drive. Now to get started, we first need to make sure that we have a raw data file, also known as a G file, since it starts with a capital G, added to your Office computer. Here we have a new file folder that I have entitled Opus and added the raw data file G0002A17.211. After we have this file downloaded to our computer, we will open up Spectre Precision Rhinex Converter software and follow the instructions on the screen. Upon opening the Rhinex converter, our first task will be to add the raw data file for conversion. We will browse looking for the folder we have added the raw data to, in this case, our desktop and called Opus. Next, we will choose what type of file we want to convert to. Since this file will ultimately be processed by Opus, we want to make sure that Rhinex Raw Data Files version 2.11 for Opus is selected. Next, we will choose the folder that these converted files will go into. We have the option here of browsing to put into any folder we would like, or putting it right back in the folder that the original raw data format came from. This is the example that I will choose here. Finally, we will choose convert and those files will be added to our file folder. After the conversion of the files, the file that we are most interested in will be the file that ends in .17.0. This will be the file that you submit directly to Opus online. To submit this file online, we must first open up our internet web browser and go to the Opus or Online Positioning User Service homepage by the National Geodetic Survey. The address for this particular website is www.ngs.noaa.gov front slash opus front slash. Here you should be able to file here you should be able to follow the instructions as they are on the screen. First we will upload our data file by choosing the file on our desktop in the opus folder and again selecting the converted file ending in .17.0. Next, we will choose the antenna type. This particular file came from a Spectre Precision Data uh, I'm sorry, this particular file came from a Spectre Precision SP80, which will be under Spectre Precision, and have L1, L2, L2C, L5, and all of the various constellations. Next, you will add the height of your rod and you will do this in meters. We know this was a two meter rod. And then we will add our email address. Now, if this is a full two hour static session, then we will go ahead and upload it here to static. If we have done a 15 minute to two hour rapid static session, we will upload it on the other side. This particular raw data file 
is only 15 minutes. So we will upload to the raw, I'm sorry, we will upload to the rapid static. 